Hi everyone, and welcome to Netterman's introduction to explosion isolation flap valves, and specifically the Netterman CARS valve. My name is Dan Rousseau, Technical Director at Netterman, and I'll be joined today by Niels Peterson, one of my most knowledgeable colleagues when it comes to combustible dust. Niels has been part of multiple NFPA committees to develop the standards we have today to ensure that you, your employees, and facility are protected from accidents that can occur, resulting in explosions while handling combustible dust, that be it wood or what I call plastic wood dust. We'll be walking you through some key distinctions of the Netterman cars valve, but first, why would you need an explosion isolation flap valve? And secondly, what is it? Many of you are here today because you're in the wood industry, making cabinets, shelves, doors, or almost anything that you can make out of wood. The dust produced from cutting, sanding, routing, drilling, and many other woodworking applications is not just flammable, but also very likely combustible. And if the conditions are right, explosive. The Netterman CARS is designed to stop an explosion that occurs inside a dust collector from coming back inside your facility where it can cause injury, damage to the machines that are nearby, and even complete destruction of the facility. Niels, would you show an example of a facility where they didn't have the safety devices installed in a dust collector? So here's an example of the plant uh, that has a system there, and here's what happens suddenly one day, and here's what's left. And basically, this plant was not developed, uh, has not properly protection system in there, did not have any flow actuated flap valve to prevent the explosion that took place in the cyclone outside. So the flame shot through the ductwork and uh, burned the plant down to the ground. It is required by NFPA is to have an isolation. You put it upstream to prevent this pressure wave and flame to spread through the ductwork. Then you have to isolate for discharge with the rotary valve. And then, of course, recycle air duct to prevent pressure wave and flames to enter the building. Thanks, Niels. The first thing you need to know is there are five items required for an explosion to occur. Combustible dust, which wood dust is very combustible, especially the finer the dust is. Oxygen or air. Well, you have airflow running through the system constantly. You need a confined area for the dust cloud. Well, inside the dust collector itself, most dust collectors are confined spaces. Four solid walls, top, hopper at the bottom. You need an ignition source, a hot spark possibly generated from the process or maybe right off the machine itself. And lastly, you need dispersion of the dust inside the dust collector. During filter cleaning is the most common example of when you have that kind of a dust dispersion or a dust cloud. Whether it's a shaker system, reverse air, pulse, during the cleaning cycle, that is when you're going to have that dispersion of dust. In the case of the example Neil showed, the cyclone itself is spinning the dust. And inside that cyclone, you have a high concentration, you've got dust dispersion. If all five of these things are present, and they all need to be present, an explosion can occur. Let's take a look at how this can occur and how the cars can provide protection. In the final seconds after the explosion, a pressure wave and fireball traveled backwards down the ducting. And in that process, the pressure wave hit the flap of the car's valve, causing it to close, lock, seal, and prevent any of the flame from penetrating back towards the machinery and the operators. This is what the flap valve is designed to do. Neil's referenced isolation earlier, and isolation from the explosion from the facility and directing the flash from the fireball in a safe direction is the key to the protection of the system. Netterman designs, engineers, and, and provides NFPA compliant dust collector systems constantly for the woodworking industry, which requires many safety devices, not just cars. Netterman offers a family of cars valves from six inch up to 40 inch diameter, addressing almost every type of installation for the woodworking industry. Unlike many of the competitors in similar valves out in the market, the woodworking industry is a fundamental part of the Netterman business model. So as we developed this current product line, we actually considered 
what is best for the woodworking industry. Like many safety devices, CARS was designed to be solid and robust. You wouldn't buy safety glasses made out of kitchen plastic wrap as it's too weak. The same is true with a safety protection device, especially one that's designed to stop an explosion. All CARS are ATEC certified, meaning it has passed rigorous testing to confirm it works in every way we thought possible when it comes to installation needs and the type of dust that will pass through it. This type of testing is necessary to provide the flexibility for all different type of insulation requirements we see, especially in the woodworking industry. But the ATEX testing, and by having a certificate that states that it's been tested to that standard, this allows us to tell and state that the CARS is NFPA 69 compliant. This is a must for your AHJ or your adjunct having jurisdiction who's ultimately signing off that this system is designed and installed to be safe, meeting the local standards, codes, and regulations. Unlike some other products on the market, all of the CARS valves are tested to provide the best and the most flexible insulation options. For example, all CARS are allowed to be installed with two elbows between the CARS and the dust collectors. There are no straight pipe connection requirements, and they can be used for both negative and positive pressure systems. Also, all CARS valves now come standard with a lock sensor and a dust buildup sensor which these are also required under NFPA to provide safest operating and system shutdown due to an explosion. For years, push systems were used in the wood industries as it allows for energy savings and most efficient ducting designs to save energy costs year after year. Some machines you operate, such as an edge bander, have multiple small diameter hoses inside, and this requires a lot of suction power to pull the dust out of the machine. This pressure, when you combine it with your entire system, means you may have to upsize your fan for larger size. So let's take, for example, you size for 125, 150 horsepower. If you were to zone the system, use a positive pressure, specifically take that edge bander off, you may find you only need 175 and 125 horsepower, saving 25 to 50 horses. Also, you may have a facility that runs multiple shifts where the first shift is running all the machines and second shift, maybe just the finishing area or another part of the plant is running. Instead of running 125, 150 horse like in the prior example, even using a VFD and other energy saving devices, what if you had two ducts and you were running 75 horse or maybe it's 240 horsepower fans instead of larger 100 2550. This is where you have energy savings by looking at multiple fans, positive pressure, and it really gives a lot of opportunity to design the system that is most efficient for you and your exact needs. Now, there are many different parameters that are evaluated when an explosion isolation flap valve, such as the CARS, is tested. When designing a system, you need to look at all the parameters that are set based on the testing that was done. You cannot just pick and choose a couple of them to comply with, or otherwise you'd be installing the valve in a non-compliant way. For example, the CARS valve can be used indoors or outdoors, but there is an operating and an ambient temperature range of minus 20 to positive 60. If any of you are in the northern climates, minus 20 Celsius, which is also minus four Fahrenheit, that could be an issue and you would wanna take a close look at your installation to see where best to place the CARS valve to make sure it complies with those limits. Just a couple others that are worth mentioning is, you know, about fourth down is maximum dust concentration. The CARS allows any. But what if you had a case where only half of maximum dust is allowed? And in some uh, certificates you will see it must be below the lower explosion limit. These are now new design parameters that are much more difficult to design around. And there are valves on the market that do limit the amount of dust you can have in your ducting to make sure you have a compliant system. And lastly, on the right-hand side are some of the positioning of the valve. Every valve that has been tested under the latest ATEC regulations, which is pretty much most of them, they all have something related to elbows, a minimum and maximum distance, and a max airflow, some even have a minimum airflow. When you are placing the isolation flap valve, they have to fall within that L min, L max, which is five or 10 meters, approximately 16 feet to about 33 feet. We're allowed those two elbows that can also be in there in that distance. Many others, you have to have straight pipe coming straight out of the collector. All these things must be looked at and designed into the system so that you can have an ATEX compliant and an NFPA compliant system. Let's conclude with a short video that was taken during one of our test on a CARS valve. This was done at a Netterman test site that we had to create because many of the test agencies could not test these kind of valves on their facility to the limit that we wanted them tested at. This is a video that shows a CARS valve 
positive pressure setup with two elbows running at the maximum air velocity of 5,900 feet per minute with maximum dust concentration. Everything that if you install a Netterman CARS valve in your system, you're going to be more than protected.